This is literally the greatest death match ever assembled in the history of Pokemon. This video right here, which is the mythical and legendary Pokemon Battle Royale animated and done over on this guy's channel over here. It is the best thing ever. Terminal Montage did an amazing job. Loxton Noggin did an amazing job of analyzing this thing. And holy cow, it is just freaking epic. Everything about this, this video is exactly what you'd want to see in this. We have all the legendary Pokemon getting bodied, doing fun, having an amazing time, and it's exactly what you and they came out down to an amazing, amazing result. Many of you have obviously seen this. You obviously have already seen this if you're looking at this video. It came down to essentially a stalemate draw where you have essentially at the end of it all Arceus going up against Ultra Necrozma in a space-time continuum portal rip in which one of one of them, the Ultra Necrozma wins, and the other one, we have Arceus winning. If you haven't watched this video, please. I hope I haven't spoiled it for anyone, but if you, if you have, I'm sorry I'm a terrible person because I am a terrible person because I am a terrible person because I am a terrible person. I'm seriously a terrible person. When in all honesty, this video was so amazing and had everything going for it, everything right about it, except for one thing that people, many people have been asking or at least been talking about, and simply the question is Mega Evolution. Mega Evolution not being a part of the video. <gasps> what? How could they miss out on that? It's Mega Evolution after all. For those of you guys who don't remember, Mega Evolution is obviously going to be that opportunity where Pokemon can basically evolve past their normal ev final evolution state temporarily in battle. Kind of like going Super Saiyan and Dragon Ball Z. Certain Pokemon have this ability, and it's one of those that's very, 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 very cool to have. It's very helpful for making battle just a little bit better, giving yourself just a little bit extra pow-pow, giving them extra stat boosts, and being able to make you just a bit more fearful and magical and dynamic. For instance, it makes Mega Pidgeot turn into Mega Pidgeot. So certain Megas in this stream and in this video would have actually had access to this. This would have been Pokemon like, for instance, Rayquaza, Primal and, Ki and uh, Primal uh, Groudon and Kyogre. I'm going to have to edit that out because that was horrible. Blah. Maybe I won't. Who knows? But anyway, you have those two that have, that have access to it. You have Mega Rayquaza that has access to it. These are Pokemon that basically have the ability to go past their normal form and limitations. But it was not displayed at all in this video. And obviously, you're going to understand why it is when you really think about it again. And honestly, it would not have made much of a difference. But we'll get to that later. Notice how when it comes to Mega Evolution, Mega Evolution is always going to lead off in the games with basically this one statement right here. It says... Mega Al Alakazam's Alakazam Knight is reacting to the Keystone, and the Keystone, of course, is held in the Trainer Band. Every single one of these Pokemon that has a Mega Evolution available to it has to react and re revolve and be able to dissolve around the Trainer's participation or active participation in Mega Evolution. It's why, for instance, in a lot of the older uh, games that were before Sun and, uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, as well as uh, You Sun You Moon, you saw basically the, the clip of the trainer of the trainer actually being involved with it, with the Keystone reacting. Every single one of the Pokemon that does have experience a mid-battle form change does have to revolve around that and does have to experience that in order to be able to do so. In order to be able to mega evolve, they have to be able to do that, right? Well, absolutely right. It's part of the entire process. And being it's a battle royale and being that it is not in the presence of any humans and actually devoid of any human interaction, you are essentially muting out the mega evolutions from being a part of the battle. Thereby, Primal, Primal uh, Kyogre and Groudon, as well as Mega Rayquaza, as well, are not a part of the battle. However, we forget something right away. When it comes to Mega Evolutions, there is one thing that we forget very easily, and that is that there is actually one Mega, one Mega out there that does actually have the ability to become a Mega, or at least one Pokemon that has the ability to become a Mega, without the interaction of people involved. Now, granted, this was in the movies. This was not in the, in the games. It was not a part of anything else, but it was part of a movie, so I consider it halfway-ass canon getting around but in all honesty there is one mega out there that does have that ability and that is of course mega mewtwo because mewtwo itself is absolutely a genius pokemon an absolute beast killer and mewtwo as you saw in this video did have a great great awesome time it was able to establish a lot of kills and deaths it was doing an absolutely bomb wrecking job because mewtwo is mewtwo is mewtwo and mewtwo as we know has two mega evolutions well if we remember back in the day there was the genesect movie the actual genesect movie where Mewtwo itself 
was featured prominently. And this is actually an opportunity right here where it was basically facing down a trainer who was trying to capture it and beat it down. Mewtwo, as you can see, is dealing with all kinds of problems and sort, dealing with the Scavaliers, Tyr Tyranitars, just getting bodied up and whatnot. So Mewtwo does what Mewtwo does best, which is overcome its own limitations and basically become Mega Mewtwo Y right here. An ultra speed store lord demon creature thingy and is able to mega evolve absent the manipulation of humans in using a keystone because Mewtwo is fucking god. True story. Anyway, but here's the thing at the end of the day, guys. We ask ourselves, would Mewtwo mega evolved have been able to actually body out and win this battle? The answer is no. Sadly, it's not in anything, no, because it is at the end of the day. At the end of the day, guys, the winners of this. People, the two that come down to it are Arceus and Ultra Necrozma. Arceus and Ultra Necrozma. And ultimately, that's what it's going to end up being because while Mewtwo is absolutely smart, absolutely wonderful, absolutely my favorite Pokemon of all time, well, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, let's be honest, you can't beat the original OG gangster pimp cane creature thingy. Mewtwo does have one mega, mega thing going, not going for it, and that is that Arceus is, you know, god and um, Ultra Necrozma is basically able to, according to the Pokedex, basically manipulate and steal all of light, which would basically eventually give it the ability to just have so much pow pow and so much relevance and being and, and existence that Mewtwo cannot en uh, encompass it. We're talking about in this video being able to see uh, Ultra Necrozma absorb the sun, which would essentially give it so much energy that it would be just be able being able to contain that energy would be beyond anything Mewtwo could ever even fathom or predict or calculate or be calculable to. Yes, of course, in the video and in the explanation video by Noxton, they do mention that Mewtwo could have actually survived in space. We do see evidence of that from the bit from movies where Mewtwo basically just does what Mewtwo does, which does not really care about anything else in the atmosphere. True story. But anyway, the real talk, talk finish line of this all is, is that they did an amazing job. This is awesome. And while Mega Evolution was in, uh, not involved in this because obviously there was no human interaction and only one Mega Evolution of a Legendary has ever shown any kind of evidence of not needing human manipulation to be able to become its ultimate form, at least as far as can goes, we still have to basically rip base it on the end result, which is basically this, that none of the Megas that could have appeared had the ability to beat down and deal with Arceus or... Ultra Necrozma, or Palkia, or Dialga, or even Giratina. All of the mega, all of the of the legendaries from Generation Four, being the embodiment of space, time, hell, and also God itself, are just too OP in the G. And also, then beyond that, you also have, of course, Ultra Necrozma, which they made absolutely gorgeous in all kinds of ways, shapes, forms, and fashion. And because of that, you really can't look at Mega Evolution and go, "Yeah, they left something out in there." Because they really didn't. At the end of the day, even Mega Evolution, which remember guys, is a temporary boost of power, but much like being a Super Saiyan in Dragon Ball Z, it's just temporary. And because of that, guys, we know that they did it the best job possible and did not leave anything out or hurt the, the story at all by leaving out Mega Evolution. Thank you guys. I hope this was an awesome video. I enjoyed this video so very much, the actual movie itself that it was enjoyed. Please go show Loxman's video love. Please go show that legendary video some love again, because it's freaking awesome. Probably the best thing ever done in the, in, the, in the format. Thank you guys. See you around.